Here's an explanation for the answer to final exam question number 97 in Alternative Energy Demystified 2nd Edition. If you have the printed book, please see page 332. We're again looking at figure exam-8, the fluorescent tube. I recommend that you watch the video in uh, the last uh, question, number 96, which just asks what it is if you aren't sure. The interior of this device, and it, I shown in exam-8, uh, the interior which is marked with a bright green X, which I'll show you in a minute. It's not green in the book, but I made it green to make it more clear. What, is, what does it contain? It's the rarefied gas inside of a fluorescent tube, and what that comprises is mercury vapor and an inert gas. Well, mercury vapor is the kicker here. That's what makes fluorescent tubes a little bit undesirable. Uh, you have to be very careful when you break these things. The same is true of the compact fluorescent lamps, which you saw a little earlier in this exam, an actual photograph of one. Anyway, here is a simplified diagram of a fluorescent tube. Once again, figure exam-8. Here's that substance inside. Mercury vapor and an inert gas. Now that mercury vapor, when you apply the voltage through these appropriate electronic gadgets in the ends of the tube to, cr to drive a current through that rarefied gas, that mercury vapor has a characteristic glow. It fluoresces and a lot of that energy is in the ultraviolet part of the spectrum. Well, that's not going to do you any good to light your room. It, they might use it in those uh, sun tanning beds, uh, which uh, have become, uh, I don't know, I think some ple people are talking about making them illegal. I don't know if they're actually illegal, but uh, sun tanning was kind of in style back in the 1980s. and Now it's a little bit out of style now that we find out what kinds of consequences can result from long-term exposure to ultraviolet radiation from the sun and other sources. But anyway, this glass tube blocks most of that ultraviolet, so it wouldn't get out anyway. But it strikes the phosphor on the inside of the glass tube, and that phosphor then glows the visible light that you see. But this stuff this rarefied gas in here uh, comprises an inert gas, like xenon or something like that, along with mercury vapor. So once again, the correct answer to this question is choice D, as in delta.